Hello my little dumplings and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kerry and I love all things makeup and beauty related. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe because I love everything makeup, tutorials, reviews, all of that jazz, that's what you'll find on my channel. Today we are looking at the Disney colour it says, the Disney colour collection mini palette trio by Beauty Bay. So when I knew this was coming out, I'm like yes, I love Disney um, so much, um, but actually the three Disney films that they've included aren't the three that I thought they'd pick but maybe that's a good thing because maybe that's a bit different Um they're actually a lot smaller than I thought there was going to be um, I was expecting them to be bigger I know it says mini I don't know why I was expecting it to be bigger Um it comes in this sleeve Um this collection for all three in the little box which I wanted the little box um, is £20 and I just it's so cute that it comes in like is that sad yeah okay it's sad but I just thought it was so cute that it came in the little box like this and I can store it like that and it's the whole collection then all three of them and we have got the jungle book and Dumbo and Alice in Wonderland so yeah a bit obscure with the choices um usually it's the main sort of storylines like Beauty and the Beast, Ariel, but um, I'm glad that they've done something different. When I looked at the colour stories, I was a bit shocked. Um, so the Alice in Wonderland one looks like this. Um, I think it looks pretty. That is definitely a nice colour story. I'm not mad at this one. Um, and I think it goes nicely with the Cheshire Cat that's on the front. Um, then we've got the Jungle Book. Again, another really nice colour story. Um, I think I'm going to like this one and that's the front corresponding with the colours inside and Dumbo um, which was the one that I thought made the least sense colour story wise like putting these colours together I mean it makes sense for Dumbo but actually putting the colours together is a bit mm, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one um, so yeah they're the palettes this video is actually in collaboration with one of my amazing friends called Heather. I'll link her channel down below. She's doing a video on the same three palettes, um, but I don't think it's going to be up the same time as mine. It might be up a little bit after, so I will link her channel down below. She's fantastic. Please check her out. Um, and we've actually decided that we're going to try and decide what each other's favourite palette out of the collection is. So stay tuned for that for the end when I try and guess what I think Heather's favourite will be, and then you'll have to check out her video to see if I'm right. So shall we dive into some eyeshadow? Now all of these palettes are matte palettes. There's no shimmers in any of them. So it's going to be interesting. I don't know how I'm going to create looks with these. Um, altogether, I think the colour stories can complement each other nicely. But if you was just buying, say, for example, the Dumbo palette on its own, which is the top one, um, you'd have to really love that those type of colours together to make a look work with that, I feel. I just, I don't know, that's just my personal feeling on it. So I'm going to start out with the Jungle Book palette. Um, I really really like the look of this colour story, it looks beautiful, so I think I want to start out with the deepest shade here which is like a dark brownie colour, see I haven't swatched any of these yet, you'll have seen the swatches, but I'm going to start out with this deepest shade and just put this on the outer corner, it'll be interesting to see if these are just as good quality as all the other Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes that have been released lately because I really do like the quality of Beauty Bay's eyeshadow formula usually um, and that's gone on nice and pigmented can't complain about that just going to take it a little bit toward the lower lash line as well I'm hating my foundation today it's creasing on me everywhere because I thought I'm not going to put on my favourite and use it because I've nearly run out it's the NARS soft matte and I don't really want to have to buy another bottle yet so <laughs> I'm trying to use my not so much favourite foundations that was perfect English wasn't it Kerry um, just wiggle the edge of this a bit 
Then I'm going to go into this deep purpley blue shade. I suppose it's more purple than blue. It'd be nice if they named them, like relevant to the Disney film, but you know, you can't have everything in life. Then I'm going to go into this nice purpley shade here, much lighter, and pop this around the edges. Then I'm going to take this green shade here and just link that on to the inner corner. I'm trying to use quite a few shades out of this palette. Get a real feel for whether it's good quality. So far these are all quite murky shades from this palette. Which I suppose, yeah, Jungle Bucky is probably about right. I'm not going to do amazingly intricate looks with this at all. I just want to test the quality of the eyeshadow. <laughs> and I'm getting fallout here, there and everywhere. That's a nice green. I like that. And then I'm going to go into the lighter green here. And just blend that last shade out with it a bit. I've actually left space on my lid for a shimmer like I normally would and there's no shimmers. So that's fun. So then the only shade I haven't used is this middle purple, purpley pinky, purpley, purple. Um, so I've got no choice but to just bang my elbow, put that on my lid. Um, should have really thought this out a bit better, Kerry, before you started. However, we're here now. We're uh, making it work. I'm just going to add more of the deeper purple just between these two shades. The fallout is real with this palette. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this purpley shade again. Just for the lower lash line. And then a fluffy brush just to go around the edge. This has turned out dramatic, hasn't it? Then I'm going to pop a bit of my Barry Ann Hives liner in the waterline in the purple shade, which is called Dangerous. Okay, and this is look number one with the Jungle Book palette. Um, I am missing a shimmer, definitely would have liked a shimmer for the lid. It's a shame that they didn't put one shimmer in. Um, and I would normally put a shimmer on top, but because I'm just reviewing these palettes, I didn't want to add anything extra. Um, I do think it's a nice colour story. I'm not in love with the look, but the quality of the eyeshadow, I shall reserve judgment for the end of the video. But that is look number one. Okay, so for look number two, I'm gonna go for the Dumbo palette, um, which was my least favorite looking at the color story. Um, not really any depth in here for me, which is a shame, um, but I'm gonna start out with this red one here um, in the hope that I can try and make a nice look out of this palette. Let's pop this in the outer corner. It looks like, I don't know if it's just my ring light, but it's sort of an orangey red. Don't know if it looks like that to you. Pigmented though. Why did I say that like Yoda? Pigment there is. Then I'm gonna take this nice pinky shade in the middle and just work that a bit around the outside of that red. Then I think I'm gonna do a little cut crease and I'm not sure what colour to put on top of it yet. Yeah, I think on top of that, I'm gonna put the yellow shade. I do struggle with this palette to think of 
a cohesive look to come up with and my hair is really annoying me. Let's try and pack some of this yellow on. Mm, again, nice pigmented yellow, very powdery though. A lot of cook up in the pan with these shades. Then I'm going to go into this mauvey purpley colour and just use that to bridge the yellow and the red which is probably totally off colour theory wise but I mean I did think I'd struggle with this colour story in this palette. Just go over again with a little bit of that first red. That hasn't bridged the gap at all. It looks awful. Um, they're so powdery and they don't really want to layer on top of each other that well, which is a bit naughty. So for the lower lash line, I've got no choice but to use the blues now because it's the only thing we haven't used. So in the outer corner, I'm going to use... Oh, wow. The, deep, the deeper blue. Wow, that's pigmented. And then following on with the more pastel lighter blue this is a look isn't it with this color story this is a look and I think I'll put a bit of yellow in the inner corner because why not at this point I'm gonna put a bit of my yellow neon eyeliner from LA girl shockwave liner in my what line so guys this is the second look with the Dumbo palette as I thought colour story I mean I tried to use every shade that's probably where I went wrong but when I review a palette I really like to test every shade um, as much as I possibly can this eyelash does not want to stay on uh, I'm not surprised because it's looked at the eyeshadow and wants to jump off <laughs> um, yeah this eye look is probably the least favourite I've ever done in my life um, because I've tried to use as many shades as possible and this colour story is is just not me I'm afraid so we have one more palette to go stay with me don't leave I can do better so I've just taken those two looks off um reapplied around my eye area the makeup um, so if I'm looking a bit rough that's why and then we're going to dive into the Alice in Wonderland palette I hope you appreciate that I am dedicated to the cause and had to only remove this part of my makeup. This colour story looks nice. So I think I want to start out with probably this deep purpley shade here. And pack it on the outer corner. Then I want to take this nice light bright pink shade here and just go around the edges of that one. Wow, that's pigmented and bright. Just tap off your brush, Kerry, tap off your brush. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this white shade um, just around the edges of that pink just to blend it out a little bit further it's nice that they've included this shade I'm very happy about that then I'm going to take this nice purpley shade here because I can't not use that that looks absolutely gorgeous and pop it closer to the front Oh, that's such a nice tone, that purple. And again, I'm going to dip into that white shade just to blend out this purple a bit. Then for the inner corner, I'm going to put this yellow. And just tuck it here. Seems as I don't have a shimmer that I can put there. And then along the lower lash line, I'm going to use this deep navy. Just to 
just try and keep it as close to my lash line as I can. And then I'm gonna smoke that out with this purpley shade here. Again, yellow for the waterline. I'll stick on some mascara and lashes and we'll come back and talk about the palettes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look with the, where is it, Alice in Wonderland palette. I'm sure you can tell which one my favourite is already, but let's discuss the palettes. So for £20 for the three Disney collection palettes and they come in the little box. I'm not mad that I bought them, I'm not mad that I spent £20. I am a bit sad um, about the Dumbo one to be honest and that is, that is just my personal preference because number one, I don't like the film. It's probably one of the only Disney films I'm not keen on. Number two, I don't like the colour story. I like the blues on their own, I like the reds and the yellows on their own all together. To me it's not a cohesive colour story that I enjoy. Um, you might absolutely love it which is fine. Um, out of all three I feel like this was probably the worst quality out of the palette. Now that might just be me because <laughs> I just didn't enjoy using this colour story. However, um, I don't know, when I put the yellow on top of the cut crease, it was very, very powdery, it didn't really want to stick on. Maybe it's just because it's a pastel yellow, I don't know. But yeah, this one, mm, if I had the choice of removing one of the three from the collection, it would be this one because it just doesn't make sense to me and my tiny little brain. Oh, and also, where's the depth? The Jungle Book palette, um, much more my colour story. I like greens, I like more grungier tones. I love these purples, very, very nice. It's got the depth that I want. It's also got a nice light shade. Um, I feel like this one was slightly better quality, better colour story. I just prefer it to the Dumbo. And then last but not least, Alice in Wonderland, which I didn't think was gonna be my favourite. I thought the Jungle Book would be my favourite, but no. This is my favourite. Um, this is my favourite look that I've created with the palettes today. Um, I just feel like it was the best quality of the three. Um, not that they weren't blendable and that they weren't nice shadows, I just, I, this one felt slightly better. Um, the colour story makes a lot more sense to me. Um, I like the fact that they've got the white in there so you can blend out the other shades and that you've got the really deep navy here and the deep plummy colour here. So I really do like this palette and it is actually my favourite of the three, which yeah, I wasn't expecting that. So I wonder if Heather's going to guess right that I like the Alice in Wonderland palette best. I've got to try and choose what she's going to like best, which is difficult. I know she likes blues, so... But she likes deep colours as well, so it could be Jungle Book. That's, that's fairly deep. Dumbo. I don't think she's going to go for Dumbo. Even though she likes blue, I don't think she's going to go for that one. Alice in Wonderland. It's got the deep blue and... It, oh... I'm gonna say she likes the Jungle Book palette best. I don't know, you'll have to check out a video to see if that is the case. Like I say, I'll link her channel below. She's fantastic. She's got a gorgeous dog who often pops into her videos. So if you like dogs, you like makeup, um, you like reviews and tutorials, go and check Heather out, please. Um, would I say these are worth it? If you're, I've just realized, I think they've got names on the back. Oh, Kerry, what a time to realize. Um, yeah, they do. They have the names on the back. So on the Alice in Wonderland one, on the back it says Cheshire Cat Stripe, Cheshire Cat Fur, Cheshire Cat Face, Eyes, Teeth, Tree. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. The names are on the back, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, these three palettes, if you really, really like Disney, you like collecting Disney makeup, I don't think that they're bad quality. I don't think that they're a waste of money. However, if it was up to me to make this collection, I wouldn't have picked Dumbo for a start. I'm sorry to the Dumbo lovers. Um, I would have definitely included one shimmer. I would have made sure all of the palettes had depth and light shades. I'd say they are fairly similar to Beauty Bay's normal quality of eyeshadow, um, especially the Cheshire Cat one. Um, that felt the closest to me to Beauty Bay's really good eyeshadow quality. Like I say, Dumbo one not so much and the Jungle Book sort of in the middle. Yeah, it's okay. So 
that's my review on these guys that's just what I think if you disagree that's absolutely fine that's just what I found with these three palettes and I'm gonna stand them in their nice little box because I am sad like that and I like things that come Thank you for checking out this video guys it's been an interesting one if you could please like the video comment down below maybe think about subscribing if you like this sort of content and beauty reviews swatching things tutorials challenges collabs don't forget to check out heather's channel and i'll see you in the next one bye